Hello, I'm Philip and I just want to give you a, a really basic overview of what Google Analytics is, just in case you've never come across it before. So we're on the hook, we're inside Google Analytics now and we're um, we're on the home tab. So what you, things you can see here is how many people have visited your site how long the visit duration lasts if they were there for one minute, two minutes, however long. Um, you can see the, the countries that they came from. Uh, this is about mobiles, whether you're using a mobile phone or a, a mobile device to access your, um, your website with. Now next to that tab, you've got one called standard. This is just a basic overview of what's going off on your site. Next to that is the standard reporting, which is where you'll be most of the time. So this is similar to the one we've just looked at. It's just laid out in a slightly different way, but it gives you more or less the same type of information. So what we want to do is see if anybody has come from Google to our site. So we click traffic sources in this left hand sidebar, and then we click sources um, search organic well, they, they call it organic traffic if it's come from a search engine and you didn't have to pay for it so let's see now down here we've got keywords that people have tied, typed into Google to find our website but you can also have the keyword and the city that they came from so what we need to do is this where it says secondary dimension we click that button there and then we want to go to visitors, city, and now we've got the city they came from and the keyword. Now if you look here, there's a lot of not provided. If someone is logged into any Google account, Google Mail, uh, YouTube, anything like that, and they do a search, it won't show up here. It would say this not provided because they were logged in when they did it. So we want to get rid of where it says not provided, or we want to get rid of the, 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 the keywords that we, we can't see because it says not provided so in this box here where it says advanced we click that and then we want to exclude the keywords that say not provided so we've excluded keywords with this not provided now if we scroll down here when we click the apply button the not provided ones have been hidden from us so we don't see them now so what we can see now is um, someone has searched for WooCommerce tutorial they were in London what else have we got uh, someone searched for install WooCommerce pages and they were in New York if you want to see more rows more of this information it shows you 10 rows at a time but we want to see some more so you cl click that show rows and then click 50 or 100 whatever you want and it shows you more information all on the same screen right what can we look at now um, oh, I'll tell you what, people, <laughs> if you want to see if people are using a mobile phone to view your website, if you look at audience, mobile, devices, now what it shows us now is someone's used an Apple iPhone to use our website, to view our website, someone's used an iPad, someone's used this Samsung Galaxy telephone. And if you want to know what the telephone looks like that they've used or the, the mobile device, just click the little picture, the little icon, and it'll show you a picture of the thing. I have no idea what a Samsung uh, Galaxy looks like. Right, what else can we do? Um, I think that's just a basic idea. Of, oh, I'll tell you what it does. There's this thing called the date range. We'll go back to traffic sources organic. What you can do with this date range here, if you click that, you can compare one date to another. There's a little box there that says compare to. So if we compare September to October, so we've got October there, September here, and we click apply. Now we didn't set analytics up on this particular site until um, the middle of September. So we've only got a few days data in September there. And then we've got all of August. Um, it's all the way around, isn't it? <laughs> but the basic idea is you can see we compare the, the uh, yellow one is September and the blue one 
is October. So you can compare one month to another and see what the, what the differences are. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, so we'll leave it there. But it, it, Google Analytics is well worth uh, investigating. And it, it, it's easy to set up and it's fairly easy to use once you understand how it works. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.